Oh my gosh, this place is beautiful. It's so much it's bigger than our trailer. Fire. All right, so we are here at the inn at Cannon Beach. We are spending the night here. A friend of mine is having a birthday party tonight, so we decided to come down for the day. We're gonna explore the town of Cannon Beach and kind of show you around. Uh, this is a beautiful beach. In fact, I think it was rated one of the top 21 beaches in the world, which is pretty cool. So this is a place we're staying for the night, which is pretty nice. If you're ever around here at the Inn of Cannon Beach, I think it was, what, $150 for a night or something? Yep. So a little bit more expensive than staying in the trailer, of course, but the trailer's still getting fixed and has been getting fixed for almost a month and a half now. Um, so we're probably never getting that back. So we might as well start staying in some hotels, I guess. Very nice. We have our own little balcony. We have chairs and a table. Sprinkler head. Safety first. Look, they gave us candy. They gave us a little bag of saltwater taffy. Because you can't take a trip to the Oregon coast without getting saltwater taffy. You now we don't have to pay for it. Exactly. This is free saltwater taffy. Man, there's quite a few pieces in there. Good. That's nice. So we are here in our lobby, and as you can see up there, they've got these huge glass, blown glass pieces, which are pretty cool. So, so far, we've checked into the room and went through the lobby and kind of walked around the grounds a little bit, and this place is well worth the money that we spent for a night. So if you get a chance to come to Cannon Beach, highly recommend um, the Inn at Cannon Beach. All right, so here we are at our one of our favorite places on the Oregon coast, Moe's Restaurant. In Cannon Beach. Which is a, in fact, they got in a few different places along the coast. And uh, if you're looking for just quick casual dining, they got really good seafood here. So, especially clam chowder. Yes, clam right? chowder is awesome. Kim loves the clam chowder. Salad, what do you got? Clam chowder <laughs> and crackers. Mm. Not just any clam chowder, it's Moe's clam chowder. All right, so of all the clam chowders that you eat, what is your favorite? Ivers is the favorite. Moe's is number two. here 
watch the tide tables because if the tide, when the tide is all the way out, you can actually walk to Haystack Rock. We missed it this morning, but um, we'll come back another time. That's definitely on our list. We want to be able to get out there. You can see starfish and sea anemones and all kinds of sea creatures. All right. All right, so we'll show you around the town. They make saltwater candy. You can see all the little garbage cans of freshly made saltwater candy. It's a unicorn pooper. Poops candy. I'm looking for unicorn stuff for Christmas for my niece because she loves unicorns. <sighs> Caramel corn. It smells so good. It so good. So we can't come in here and not look at Beagle stuff. Oh, and I already looked through all the dogs over there. Hard to sign. Okay, how happy are you? I'm very happy. And it's even, I think it's even cooler because I bought it not just at home or online. I bought it at Cannon Beach. Yeah. That'll have even more significance. And after a good night's sleep, we decided to spend the day exploring Ecola State Park, which is right outside of Cannon Beach. There are several trails from beginner to advanced, and if you're not in the mood for a hike, there's a beautiful overlook of the Pacific Ocean. For you history buffs, a Lewis and Clark exploration party searched here for a whale carcass. Several movies were also filmed at this section of the coast and include the 1980s hits The Goonies and Point Break, and more recently, Twilight. It's huge, and I'm worried. I'm I'm worried about it because there's not much holding it. He looks like he's gonna go falling, boom boom down the hill. Gorgeous. It's chilly. We've never never seen this many formations. Right off the coast like that. This thing was nuts. Yeah, try to hug that tree. Tom's fish and chips. Yep. What did you get? I got two fish tacos and a cup of chowder. Okay, and then I got halibut fish and chips. Halibut fish and chips. So let's try there. Try that chowder. chowder. And tell me. My mouth is watering. Tell me what your thoughts are. It seems like consistency, like fibers. Oh, that was really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how are the tacos? They're really good. They have a sweet sauce to them. And there's a lot of fish in there. Very good. Dude, I'm gonna put that on video. We just got done eating lunch, and uh, if you like fish and chips, uh, I think you'll enjoy Tom's. I thought their fish and chips were pretty good. Uh, they're not heavily fried, so if you like the more breaded fish and chips, then I think you'll like that. I'm gonna try to steady out this camera. Uh, anyway, so uh, we are heading back home now. Hopefully you enjoyed another video of ours. If so, please hit the like and subscribe button. And uh, hopefully the next time you see us, we'll be yeah, back on our trailer. Safe travels. Safe travels.